ceiling and stretch. All right, last one. I'm just gonna turn, face this left wall. Take this right foot back and flatten the foot, keeping it in line with the leg. Gonna reach and squeeze the middle of the back. Reach and squeeze. In four, in three, in two, you're gonna reach and lunge it down, lunge. In four more, four, three, two, last one. Now we're gonna lower down into that lunge position, take those hips. Want to push the hips forward. So we're stretching out the hip flexor here, stretching, and then we'll slowly rise up. And we want to bring our weight forward and point our back foot, take our weight back, and flex the front, warming up those shins. Forward and back. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. So legs are apart, gonna shoot those hips back. Keep want to bend this right knee, but we want to keep this left leg straight. Let's stretch the back of this left leg for four, three, two. And now we want to flex that foot up, flex that left foot, feeling that extra stretch along the calf back of the leg and lower it down. One more time, flex that foot up, extra foot to the back of the leg, and then we're gonna lower it down and we're gonna roll up. We're gonna do this all on the opposite side. So facing this right wall, that foot is back, we're gonna flatten that foot, but it's in line with the leg. We're gonna reach, squeeze the middle of the back, reach, squeeze, in four, in three, two, Gonna reach, lunge it down, reach, lunge it down, reach, and run. Four, three, two, last one. Now we're gonna lower back into that lunge position and take that those hips and push the hips forward, stretching out that heel flexor stretch. And then raise up, coming forward, pointing the back foot, back front, flex, front, point, flex, point, flex. In four, three, two. So I'm going to shoot the six back. I want to keep this right leg straight, hands on the knees. Stretching this back, right leg, three more, two, one. Let's that foot up, extra stretch in the back of the calf, back of the leg, and then lower it down. One more time, flex it up, extra stretch, lower it down, roll it up. Facing front, the place and hands on the knees. Gonna flatten the back and then round the back up, stretching. Flatten the back, round the back up, stretching. Last flat back and put and roll on up. Three deep breaths. Deep breath inhale. Then exhale. Number two deep breath inhale. Exhale. Last deep breath, last deep breath, and yes, and exhale. All right, we grab our weights. All right, big shrug, touching the ears, and then lowering those weights down in the toe down. Lift up, two, down, two, up. Two, then two, two more. 
Last one. Big shrug. Waist to the side. Gonna bring them out to the side. Lift. Down. Lift for that two count. Down. Two more. Yeah. 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 Lift. The last one. Look to the side. And then bring the waist forward in front. Forward. Lift. This is number five. Five. Four more. Four. Three, two, last one. And you take the wrist above the head. Palms facing forward, lowering yourself on time. Three, well, set of eight, eight, seven, six, Two, last one. Bring the weights down in front. Or dead lift. Shoulders back. Tummy tight. Tummy hinge with the weights. Or the hip. Move them up. Set of eight. Down. Up. Excuse me. Glutes and abs. This is seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, side, 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 seven, six, five. One more. Three. Two. All right, we're going to do a combination. We're going to do the first sentence, the first and regular push. Lay out and cross. Bending that knee, side bend of the knee. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to combine this with one. We're going to lift the weights up, so hammer curl with the hands. So curtsy. This bring those weights towards the foot. Bound, curtsy, twist weights towards the foot. At seven, six, up, five, twist, up, four, twist, up, three, twist, up, two, twist. Last one, last one, twist. All right. That was the side waiting. Curtsy. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One reach back into that hand for a twist towards that foot. Proceed, twist. 
and seven, currency twins, six, currency twins, five, currency twins, four, twins, three, twins, two, twins, last. Hand with a part, like that in the knee. Um, the line from the up to the chest between the middle and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to bring the weights so we're facing each other. Palms are facing. We're going to lift out. There's a slight bit in the elbow. These are two back lines. I'm squeezing them on the back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last, bicep curls. Another four, slow, three, so two more at the tempo. We're just gonna knock out four quickly. Four, three, two, adding knee lifts. Alternate that knee lift. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, last. All right, just gonna hold elbows are bent. We're just gonna hold our weights right to the side. We're gonna lift the knee. So a little bit of balance, kick the foot out, lift the knee down, lift knee, kick out front, knee down. Just do four sets, all right? Knee, kick out, knee down, knee out, knee down, three, out, knee down, three, out, knee that's two, out, knee, down, knee, out, knee. This is last set, out, knee, down, knee, knee, out, knee, down. All right, placing all the weight on the left side. Start working a little bit on the balance. Weights are forward, hanging, leg is back. And want to teeter, keep that tummy tight, shoot it back, and then come up and bring those weights down around the knee level. All right, you come up. Out of eight. Eight. Make sure to keep that knee soft. Seven. Up. Six. Up. Make sure to keep that tummy tight and shoulders back. Up. Four more, four, up, three, up, two, up, last one. All right, opposite side. Sweet on the right side. Weights forward, let me tie shoulders back. Get forward, set of eight. Eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, five, four, three, two, last one, last one. 
back over to the left side. So having our um, right leg back, left arm up, and we're going to lift the leg and the arm at the same time. Still working that balance, all right? Set of eight. Eight, seven, keep that tummy tight, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, that is five. Right side, so that left, leg back, right arm lift. Set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, back and left, then across those arms. I mean, across the weights. Placing those weights behind our head. So we on the left. I'm going to bring that foot. You can place it on the foot of the floor, or you can lift it or intermittent lift, whatever you can do, all right? Taking these weights back behind our head, elbows forward. Or as a tricep kick back, all right, set of eight. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Side, so the feet are getting apart. We're going to bring our feet together. We're going to step in to this shot, cross chops. All right, set of eight. Step, twist. And that's fine. Twist. That's seven. Step. And twist. Six. Step. Twist. Five. One more. Four. Seven. Three. Seven. Two. Last. Last one. All right, we take the hands to the side. You can hold those weights, both weights in the hand. One hand, tummy tight. Put an opposite hand behind the head. Keep the shoulders in line with the hip because we're working against our weights. Bring the weight out to the knee, come back up, and then over with that elbow, set of eight. Eight. Keep that tummy tight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. All right, even with a part. Slight bend in your knees, chest is forward. We're going to bring those weights, and your hands are in or palms facing each other. We're going to bring those weights in up to the chest, squeezing the middle of the back. Set of eight, eight, seven, six, looking at that, five, four, three, two, um, now the variation, bring them into the chest and then kick back both those arms with tricep. Eight, bring them back. Out, seven, bring them back. Six, back. Five, that's on tight. Out, four, back. Three, soft, three, back. Two, back, last, all right. We all, what we did on the left, we're doing on the right. All right, we mm -hmm. the thigh to the tight, hand behind the head, bring those weights down to the knee, 
And then I'll go over to the head, set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one. Bring those wings up the shoulder. Together, just set in. Swiss those weights. Set of eight. Eight. Set in. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, pass. All right. We'll take the weights in front of our chair. Put you in front of your chair. Then do some squats. So we're going to do a slow squat to a count of four, and then just going to tap our bottoms of the seat. Well, right, seven, eight, four, three, two, one, tap the seat, and then we squeeze three, four, three, two, one, seat, squeeze, six, three, two, one, tap. Up, five, four, three, two, one, tap. And up, four, three, two, one. That is three, three, two, one, tap. Up, two, three, two, one, tap. Up, last one, last one. Tap. Now we're going to go down to the gate count for the slow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, four, and six. I'm going to grab our water. Grab water. Oh, we want to sit forward in this chair. The red head is going to have space between the back and the back chair. All right. So, weights are up. We're going to lift the knee. Arms are up. Lifting the knee. All right. Instead of eight. Eight. And sit tall and tummy tight. This is seven, six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and last set, last set. Right legs. Opposite arm, opposite leg, with a swing, opposite arm, opposite leg, knee out forward, set of eight, eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four more, four, three more, three. Last two, last, last. Thing. All right, our rowboats taking those weights. Big circle, bring it on into the chest. Lift the knees, keep those feet out. Knees back in. All right, instead of eight, eight. Knees out, back. 
seven, we out back, six, we out back, five, out back, four, out Three, out, two, out, mask, out, all right, legs wide, the knees and the lift those weights up to the chest, whip the knees together, and then bring it back in, and then bring the weights down, kind of like a jumping jack. Feet feet and then weights lifted, legs apart, weights down. Five, set of eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last. All right. We have the weights, so feet are hip width apart. Gonna bring this weight. We want to try to bring crossing up, crossing, going across. We want to bring it below the knee. So we're twisting, crunch. All right. So twist, crunch with this. That's the goal of the exercise. All right. Set of eight, eight, and seven. And keep the tummy tight. Crunch. That's six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Five set. Five set. Five. To take their weights, place them up on the chest. Really want to be forward in, this, in the chair. We're going to tap our back against the back of the chair. We want to be able to feel our lower abs when we lift, sit back up. All right. Set of eight. Eight. Up. Seven. Up. Six. Up. Five. Up. Four. Up, three, up, two, up, last, seven. And cross the arms and We're going to touch the back, of the ch back against the back of the chair. And then we're going to come all the way forward, bringing our elbows to our knees. All right, seven, eight, eight, four, seven, four, six. Four, five, four, 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 three, four, two, four, last. Got to put the uh, they repeat on the music. Put the weights down. Swimming on the sun. We got a paper to my heart. All right. So we must be and still be dead. Placing our hands on our head. We're going to bring our elbow to me. Elbow to me. Instead of eight, eight, and seven, and six, and Five and four and three and two and last. Seven. All right, the wrists are back against the back chair, hips are forward. We're going to straighten out our legs, going to do our scissors. So you can place your hands on the arms of the chair, 
the lift right in the left foot at the top, and then the left foot at the bottom, seven, eight, eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and pass, seven. Right. Well, now we're going to do the vertical scissors. So our leg is extended. We're going to reach towards bringing the hand to the foot. Sit foot, opposite hand. All right, set of eight. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and Last set, right? The knees in a walk. So hips forward and place the hands behind us. Flat on the chair. Straighten up our, or straighten out our legs, but our feet are going to be flat on the floor. So our knees will come slightly in. You know, lift our hips, squeeze, and then sit back down. So hip raises, right? Go to the set of eight. The eight, down the seven, down the six, down five, down four, down three, down two, down one. All right, special, special one. It's considered an, it's called an inverted plank. So we the ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and C. All right. Now we're gonna take our back and rest the hands the back of the chair. We're gonna do our leg raises. So legs are straight out. Placing the hands on the seat and the chair or the harness. The liquid legs, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, four. I'll go ahead and grab one. Oh, we'll go ahead and stand here for the front sandwich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then to finish off our standing. Can you can't hear with the thing again? I do. I mean, it's all on. Should I turn it loud? No, it's better now. It's kind of down. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it moves when I move. So we're going to finish off with our standing. Lunges here. The right foot forward, left foot back. Mm -hmm. Have it at least 
neck, shoulder, the left side of shoulder, that good tall. And then now lift, you can use your hand, the balance, you can eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the legs wide. Again, outside the shoulders, toes outward. Plie squats. Bring the arms out at the same time with the knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bearing the next set of these. And lift those arms up, down, down. Up, out. Arms lift out. Lift one more, one more. Lift three. Lift two. Lift last. We're gonna place our hands on our knees. We're gonna lift these ankles up. Eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and last. Again. All right. Right foot back. All right, lunging down seven inch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sure. So split this head eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the shoulder turns, turn the toes outward, same with eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, turn toes inward, same lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, stretch it out. Now, sides each. Hand straighten up, down to the spine, maybe across the chest. Pull the arm in, straight down the shoulder. Opposite side, stretch out the side, right side, spine, stretch. Hand straighten up, down to the straight side, across the chest, pull it in, stretching out the shoulder. Stretching the shoulder. Two. One, then reverse the circle. Three, two, one. And place the hands on the knees and lower this left shoulder down. And then rotate the chest toward the right wall, filling the twist in the thigh. Opposite side and lower the right shoulder down. Rotate the twist the chest and the left wall, twisting the top stretch. All right. Gonna flatten the back and then round the back up, stretch. Flatten the back, round the back up, stretch. Last time, flatten the back, round the back up, stretch. Then roll the line, then a face that's right wall. Legs are like a bunch position. I'm gonna shoot the hip back, place the hands on the knees. I want to keep this right leg straight. Stretch out the back of that right leg. 
four, two, three, two, and a little warmed up, put on the first side of the side, so we're facing the small legs right push those hips back, hands are going to come on the knees, and want to take the step legs straight, so we're going to stretch the back of the left leg, and then the right 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 leg, the left leg, and then the right leg, and then the right leg, and then the and then exhale, breath number two, inhale. And exhale, last deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Everybody, can you make sure to sign in, sign a sheet in the class? I appreciate it. All right. Uh, well, so she so finish your class, the body class. class. We're going to be doing uh, yoga next. So if you can stay for yoga that starts at 10 30 in about 12 minutes, feel free to stay. Otherwise, have a great week. Ta ta for now. And I'll see you next week for Body Works. But those who are staying in the yoga, Full and tight, you know, for 12 more minutes, and I'm uh, starting more refreshing and security in yoga. Yeah. <laughs>
started. Every good morning. Sonia Edwards and we're here for yoga and breath. I'm required to let you know that it's recommended that you consult a physician before starting any type of physical activity program. And by participating in these online virtual classes, you're assuming all risks and dangers associated with that participation. We exercise instructors may do a challenging exercise or stretch. If you're feeling a little intimidated by doing it as demonstrated, I want you to feel free, absolutely free, to modify it so that you're better able to, to do it, or you just do one of your favorites in place of it. I want you to feel free to do you. All right, let's go over exercise equipment, our sturdy chair, preferably with an upright back and free from the arms. We have arms here at the Dorothy Benson Center, so. Um, and then have water, my water underneath my chair. Yeah, please grab some water. It's so important to hydrate. And we'll go ahead and get started. All right. Yeah, all right, we'll go ahead and get started. I can I'm going to 
So we're going to sit all the way back into our chair. Feet are flat on the floor, face right underneath the knees. Going to rest our hands, relax our hands on our thighs. We want to lift and roll our shoulders back. We want to elongate our spine so we're sitting tall, seated tall. Sitting tall on our chair. And we're going to take a moment to focus in on our breathing. We want to deeply inhale and slowly exhale. What I mean by deeply inhale, we want to take in that oxygen, push it past the chest and deep into the belly. And then what I mean by slowly exhaling, we can curse or contract our lips like an open whistle kiss. And then push our air out. It will, it takes, it's such a small hole, it takes time. And so it, it will lengthen. All right, Sage. All right. All right. Sitting tall. We're going to inhale. Inhale past the chest and deep into the belly. And then first start this. Push the ear out. Slowly exhale. All right, inhale. Really, mm -hmm. and then exhale first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Inhale. Inhale. And on this inhale, we'll start to relax the parts of our body. Relaxing our head, our shoulders, arms, our back, our chest, belly, spots, relaxing our legs. Inhale. And on this exhale, we start to relax our minds, trying to clear them out, pushing all that negative. Thinking negative thoughts, pushing it out, letting it flow up with our breath. Inhale. And exhale. Again, relaxing the body, relaxing the mind. Pushing out of all those negative thoughts, all the worries, the stresses, frustrations, the to do lists, appointments. Just push it all out, clear our minds, and then turn our focus to here. This point in time, focus on our regular session. Last inhale. Exhale, relax body, relax mind. All right, let's go ahead and move forward to our yoga class, yoga session. We're going to lower our chin to our chest. We're going to rotate our head big circle for three. Big circle for two. Last circle this direction. Bringing our chins back to our chest. We're going to rotate the opposite direction. Big circle for three. Big circle for two. Mm -hmm. 
last big circle. Bringing our chins back to our chest. Gonna lift our hands and place our hands in the back of our head. And then keeping our head relaxed, let's pull down on our head with our hands. Stretching out the back of our neck, up front of the spine, stretch. Gonna lift our hands and place our hands back on our knees and we raise our head up to center. Still turn the head back over the back of the chair. Again, relaxing our head, splitting it hang, feeling the stretch in the upper part of our and the front part of our neck. Stretch. And then gonna raise our head back up to center. Still to our head over to the left, left here over left shoulder. Feeling that extra stretch on the right side of the neck. Stretch. And then opposite side, we're going to tilt our head over to the right, bringing my right ear over my right shoulder. Feeling that extra stretch on the left side of the neck. Stretch. And then going to raise our head back up to center. Let's take our chin and bring our chin directly over that left shoulder. Feeling that twist in the neck. Stretch. Opposite side, we're going to take our, our chin and bring it directly around over our right shoulder. Again, feeling that twist in the neck. Stretch. And then relax that stretch and return our face front and center. We're going to take our hands and raise our hands up the heart center. Let's lift those hands up to the ceiling and try to reach and touch the ceiling. Big stretch. And then relax our chest, our cage, and then part our arms and allow our arms to float down on the side. And then we're going to raise our hands up to our center. Again, one more time, we're going to reach up and try to reach the ceiling, big stretch, reach. And relax that reach and then part the arms out to the side. Then we're going to raise our hands back to our center. We're going to take our fingers and turn our fingers outward away from our body. We're going to reach forward around our back. Reach, trying to grab the little magazine of the table, straighten the feet for it. And then we're going to relax the reach and then bring the arms, bring the arms out to the side. We want to stretch through the chest. Open, stretch. And then relax in the arms. Side. So, raise our hands back up to our center. One more time, fingers pointed outward. We can wound the back and reach forward. Again, trying to grab it. The remote legs need grab it. And then relax that reach of that part of the arms. Take those arms back as far as you can. Stretch it through the chest, stretch. And relax through the arms. And now, and exhale. We bring our chest forward, arms forward. Flat the back, tight the tail, and then a lift. Lift our arms, body. We're sitting on the right hands, we lift the head, and then we're going to part the arms. Pulling those arms out to the side. Again, chest forward, arms forward. Flat the back, tighten the tummy, lift the lift of our body, our torso. So we're sitting on upright, then part the arms out to the side. And chest forward, arms forward, back, back, 
and testing and all the way up. Last time, just going on score. I'm done. I lift in the hands and bring it out into the chest and a rotator chest. So it's basically the right arm. Replace the hand from the arm of the chair, sink the chin. Sit tall, tighten the tummy. Want to rotate our chest, lifting, knowing the twist in the spine. It's called the twist pose. Let's inhale here. We us to the us to the line, 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 to the Left arm of the chair, over the side of the chair. Again, tummy tight, sitting tall. Feeling that twist in the spine. Let it inhale here. And on the exhale, just kind of look behind us. Feel that extra twist in the spine, stretch. Relax that stretch. Bring our chest, face front and center. Place it in the hands on the knees, going to take our left hand and bring it between the legs and the bow over our front arm till our elbow lingers around the knee. And then we're going to take our chest and rotate it towards that right wall. And then lift our right hand up towards the ceiling, creating a line through the chest. So our prayer twist, stretch. To bring those hands into the chest, gonna do the opposite side. So sitting back on the right, taking the arm between the legs, the right arm this time, and lowering it over to our elbow, over to the left of the knee, then rotate our chest towards the left. Do that left arm up towards the ceiling, bring the line from the chest, little prayer twist. Yeah. Right, and the hands back into the chest, and we're going to sit back up right, placing the hands onto our knees. We're going to do our cat cow flow, we're going to bring the chest forward, we're going to suit the head. We want to arch to that, the shoulders back, chest forward, and our gaze looking up towards the ceiling. This pose is called cow. Gonna lower our chest, our neck, shoulders right here, and we're gonna round and lift our back by the straight gate there. Stretching and lifting. This pose is called cat. And then we're gonna lift our head, shoulders, and our shoulders back. And we're gonna do the skin, and the chest forward. Let's find our cow. The head, shoulders back. Gaze up to the ceiling, your cow. Now we're going to find our cat. Bring chest, shoulders in. Turn around and lift the bed. That's our cat. Again, head, shoulders back, chest goes forward. Find our cow. Our cow. Well, let's find our cat, reach the shoulders in, around the leaves. Our cat. My lifting head, lift the shoulders. I'm gonna take the hand, extend with the right hand, and then I'm gonna sit the left and move that hand, left hand up alongside the head. I'm going to 
lean over, bring your shoulders to the right side, and use your right hand attached to the right side of the chair, stretching out that left side of the body. Gonna take our shift and rotate it so that it's facing that might fall into the back comes the back or so. Keep that left arm reaching towards the wall, right arm. Now we're gonna take our shoulder, punching our shoulder, bring it in the ground with our hips, straighten out our body. So we're sitting up tall, and that arm is extended. Gonna bend that arm, that the elbow, and bring it to the arm up the head. Gonna lift the arm with the right hand, place it on top of the left elbow, push that elbow down. Make it a little relaxed that stretch. Right hand on the knee, and then we're going to send the left arm back up towards the ceiling, take it out to the side, and then sweep it across the front of the chest. Drop that elbow and arm into the chest, stretch it on the shoulder. Stretch. Opposite side, extending both arms, placing the left arm attached to the feet or the arm of the chair. Going to lift that right arm up on side of the head and tilt the body over, shoulders over towards the left wall. So we're stretching out the right side of the body stretch. Then going to take the chest, rotate it so it's facing that left wall and flat. And the chest down, and down. So we have that reach with the right arm on set of those long stretch. We're going to rotate the shoulders to bring the shoulders in line with the hip and straighten up the body. Right arm is extended. A little bit of that arm, a little bit of the arm behind the head. And then taking the both hands. Placing it on the right elbow, push the elbow down. Stretching. And relax that stretch. Place it by the hand over the knee. And then raise that arm up to the ceiling. And then take that arm out to the side. And then you can sweep it across and put it back. Drop that elbow and pull that arm up to the ceiling. The chair slipping on the shoulder. And relax that stretch. Yeah. Right. Now stretch the top. Hopefully everybody's feeling the stretch. We're gonna go ahead and grab some water. Then we're going to move it to the room. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the last time that's all I have here so much. Bad. And she said that they she couldn't hear it, so I wasn't so bothered. But um, you know, if it's just for me, it's irritating. You know, it's a big. There's so much bad to hear. But no, I hear the screeching, and I don't know how. You know what makes it? What <laughs> how I have to to hold or point? I don't know. And I don't know if I just move it. You know, let me try to move it like that back away. I try to all this that's what yeah so that, you know nobody heard it so i'm like oh, no, i don't worry about it that's me that's hearing it so we know that i i hear it <laughs> okay so I don't know if it's it maybe the machine too, the music, the 
Okay, so let me try one more thing. I hear that. Um, I heard that. Yeah, and you can have a team. So I'm going to that because the mic is going through the, that speaker. I was going to change the speaker, but you wouldn't be able to hear the mic because the mic's going through the screen. So so I can turn it off. <laughs> so I don't know if you, you know, how much you, you Let's really. Let's try it. Let's try it. Just turn it off. off. We'll follow you. Yeah. To try what? Turn it off. Turn, turn, it, turn off. it off. Uh -huh. Okay. Here's. I'll try to remember to speak loud. I I try to make it soothing. So yeah. <laughs> okay, sitting forward in the chair. So we want to have space between our bodies and the back of the chair. All right. So we're going to um, take the hand and grab the ankle and lift the ankle up onto the knee. Want to pull that ankle into the hip for our half lotus. If one can take a, a hand, an elbow, an arm, or a hand and gently push that knee down to open up the hip gently. Going to relax that stretch and going to relax the pull with the ankle. Gonna lift those arms and gonna bring those hands forward. Wanna relax these arms, just letting them dangle. And then we're gonna take some time to relax into this pose. We're gonna relax our head and our neck. And relax our shoulders. We're gonna relax our chest. Relax our back. Relax our hip. And we just want to give our bodies time to relax. It takes 20 seconds for a muscle to stretch. So we just want to give some time for our muscles to actually relax and stretch. And as our muscles do, just want to try to bring your chest a little closer. To our legs, stretch. All right, gonna slowly rise, slowly rise, one vertebrae at a time. So we're sitting back upright. And then we're gonna cross our leg for our eagle pose. Cross the leg, you can put the foot behind the leg. And then taking the right arm underneath the left, Placing that left in the foot, and then wrapping the right hand inside the left arm, and the left arm faces the right wall. Our equal pose. So bring these shoulders together. Stretch. All right, gonna uncross the arms, uncross the leg, opposite side, left arm, on the hand, grabbing left ankle, placing it on top of the right knee, and then taking the hands, pull that ankle in for that lotus. Half lotus. You can take your hand, arm, forearm, and gently press down on that knee. Just opening up that hip ever so gently. Stretch. Then relax that stretch and relax the pull. Then place the arms up and then bring them forward in front of the leg. Again, just relaxing those arms, allowing the arms to dangle. And then we're going to try to relax into the rest of this. Those going to relax the head and the neck. Just letting our head hang, relaxing our shoulders, our chest, 
from there on the right here. Just give our bodies time to stretch and relax. As our bodies stretch, we're going to bring our chest just a little closer to our leg. Stretch. All right, then slowly rise from the right hand down slow. So we're sitting back upright. And then let's move into our eagle pose. I'm bringing that across that left leg over. And again, bringing that foot behind the leg if you can, behind the right. And then having our left arm underneath the right, kind of the crook of the left, wrapping that left arm inside the right, and right arm facing left wall. For our eagle pose. Stretch. And crossing the arms, and crossing the legs. Going to take both legs wide. Taking mm -hmm. the forearm, right forearm, right thigh, left hand inside the left knee, and open up that leg till you feel the tip on the inner thigh. And then we're going to straighten out the left arm. Still press against that um, knee to feel the stretch in the inner thigh. And now we're going to lower the shoulder, the shoulder down. Still pressing against that left knee. Try to keep that arm straight. Stretching it like a part of the back. Small stretch. Take our head and look behind us. Stretch. All right, and relax the head and lift the body. Done for so we're back sitting upright. Opposite side, left forearm, left thigh. We're going to take the right hand inside that knee and open up that leg. We'll feel the stretch in the inner thigh, the tension in the inner thigh. And then we're going to straighten out that right arm. Pressing open this right leg so we feel the stretch in the inner thigh. Straighten out the arm, lower that shoulder down. Pressing against that right leg, feeling the stretch inside the thigh. Lowering the shoulder down. Going to turn, take our head, turn and look behind us. Stretch, look a little up part in the back. Nice stretch, particularly on the part of the thigh. Stretch. Going to relax the head, lift our butt. So we're sitting back upright. All right, going to walk our feet over towards the right. So our whole body stays in the right wall, right and right, and we're going to get on the top of the Open the legs, right hand inside the chair, and then slide back from our arm. See the chair, and then slide back to our chair. Open the legs, right hand inside the chair, and then slide back to our arm. Open the legs, Now we just want to relax our leg and just let our leg, the weight of our leg, stretch out our hip. So relaxing the hip, relaxing the leg, and just letting the leg hang. We have our left arm along our side of our body. We're going to take our little hand and stick it out. So we just lift it out to the side, lifting it up above our head, and then. Bring it over the back of the chair so we get a nice stretch on the left side of our body. And we're going to keep this left leg relaxed. So we feel the weight through mm -hmm. the hip. So we are stretching the fiber line through the hip stretch. And then lift 
our hand back up to the ceiling, taking it back out to the side, and then scooting it around, bringing it all the way behind us, placing our left arm on top of the right, which is on the back of the back of the chair, feeling that twist, lifting in our spine. And keeping that leg relaxed and pulling the stretch through the hip. Come again, relax that twist. And then rotate our chest. The chest is facing the right wall. We need to slide the leg. So our feet are together. And our bodies are facing the right wall. Let's do the opposite side. Walk our bodies around, like the leg. Left arms on the back of the chair, and I'm open the leg. Right hand on the seat of the chair. I'm going to slide our bottom half of our bottoms off the chair, and then slide the right. And just let the away leg relax that leg, and then the weight stretch out of the hip. And have our arm along the long side of our body. It's going to take our hand out to the side and lift it up, pulling the ceiling and then over the back of the chair. And continue to relax that leg. So feel the stretch in the hip to the side. Stretch. Then lift the hand up to the ceiling and then take it back out to the side. And then sweep it around, bring it all the way behind the chair, placing our right arm on top of the left, which goes off the bench. Feeling mm -hmm. that twist in our body and relaxing that leg. So we're still putting that stretch in the hip. Stretch. Relax that stretch and rotate our chest and we'll take the right wall and I mean the left wall and then sliding the left leg, right leg up so the feet are together and then we're going to walk our bodies. So we're facing back front, still seated forward in the chair, going to rest our back against the back of the chair, lifting our knee into our chest and wrap our arms around the knee and pull the knees. Stretch. You relax that rotate the foot. Gonna reverse that rotation. You slide the hand to the ankle and pull the ankle in and knee into the chin stretch. Gonna relax that and then lower that knee down. Opposite side. That left knee and wrap the arms around the knee and pull the knee into the chest. Stretch. And relax that stretch, rotate the foot. Gonna reverse that rotation. Gonna slide the hand to the ankle and pull the ankle and the knee into the chest stretch. And relax that stretch and then move it up to the floor. All right, gonna take the hands and extend the legs out, so we'll it out, hands are on the knees. Hips are full. I'm going to do a full body stretch and lift those arms up to the ceiling and then take them over, technically over our head, throw the back of the chair. You're going to push the hands on the limbs opposite directions into the count of three, two, one. Push, reach with the hands, push out with the feet. I can tell you stretch, full body stretch. Then relax that stretch. We're going to take the hands and bring the hands back, lift them on the thighs, and then we're going to step our feet back in towards the chair. Taking our hands, we're going to place them on the side of the chair, and then walk the body slowly back, seating it into our chair. Right. Right. We're going to grab water, and then we're going to. Get ready for our standing. Gonna go ahead and stand up. For our standing yoga. 
All right, today I'm going to put a little to It's going to um, give the stand behind the chairs. Like you're standing on the chairs, you don't really need to be like you would be able to do what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so you can just follow along. All right. So our feet are going to be hip with the cards. Going to stand just a little uh, distance away from the chair, but have it available if you need it for balance. All right. So we're going to start off in our mountain pose. So standing tall, coming tight, and lift. Roll our shoulders back, stacking your shoulders directly above our hips. We're going to turn our palms facing forward. So we want to relax. Here, and we're just following all the way to the foot mark. We want to feel grounded, solid. We want to relax here for a moment. Inhale. And exhale. Relax through the shoulders, the arms, back. All right, let's move into our chair. Our new chair pose. We're going to bend our knee. Then the cartouche is going to push out. Like we're going to sit into a chair and bring our arms forward. Our arms are slightly in front of our head towards the ceiling, and our gaze is following our hands up towards the ceiling for our chair pose. Now we're going to straighten up the legs, going to straighten and lift the arms up. And gonna lift up onto our toes, press, balance, stretch on our toes, and then lower back down. Gonna place the hands on the back of our chair. We're gonna take our back, our right foot back, and we're going to bring our chest forward towards the top of the chair, using our hand for balance. Want to take the arm out to the side for a plane. And balance. You place the hands back in on the chair and lift back up and lower the foot back down. <laughs> And then take our foot to the right and place our hand, I mean, our foot on our cat or on our knee for our tree. And again, you can take your hands to the side. One balance here for our tree. Hands back on the seat and lower the foot down. Going to bring our foot hip width apart, and we're going to start over. We're going to do this on the opposite side, tummy tight. Continue to rolling his shoulders back, arms facing forward for our mountain pose. Going to move into our chair, bend those knees, bring those hands forward for our chair pose. To straighten up the legs that are take those hands above the head and balancing going to reach up onto our toes balance and then lower back down and then bring those hands to the back of the chair and now we're going to take our left leg back and bring our chest forward for that plane pose you can take the hands out to the side for our plane. Hands back to the chair. And then we'll over leg. Bring our body back up right. Then take our left leg to the left side and slide it in for our tree. And place our um, foot 
for the side of our tag. Or, you know, the option I didn't have is to keep it on the board. Bring it up to the knee. Again, you can hold your balance. And back to the chair. We're going to roll that foot down, placing it hip width apart. Hands are going to be on the back of the chair. And we're going to, we want to keep our hands ripped to the chair and keep them keep the grip on the chair and then go into a downward dog. Then we walk our legs back, small lady steps back, want to extend it to arms. And we want to walk till our back is flat or extended. Our arms are fully extended, back is rather flat. Want to have a nice soft knee here. And then we want to let go. Relax in the back. Feel the stretch through the arm, stretch through the shoulders. Just want to relax the arms, relax the shoulders, relax the back, relax through the head. Just want to relax here into the downward dog. So we're going to take our keep the grip with the right. We're going to lose or loosen the grip with the left, and just let the arm hang. And then we're going to take that left arm and move it over to the towards the right. So you feel a little twist in the other part of the spine stretch. Then relax that stretch and then uh, that relaxing arm and then place it back on the back of the chair. Going to do the opposite arm, just to release the right arm and let it hang. And then take that right hand and bring it over by the, right, the left foot, just feeling that little twist the upper part of the back. Okay. And then relax the arm and then place it back. On the back of the chair, so both arms on the back of the chair. Then we're going to lift our head, lift our shoulders, lift our body, and walk our bodies like feet back in towards the chair. Right. So feet are hip width apart. We're going to lift and roll our shoulders back. Long space of the board is one. Our spine to the toes. Relax here for a moment. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Thank you. Have a seat. Back up to our chair. Yeah. We're going to sit all the way back in our chair. Gonna rest our hands on our thighs, then lift and roll our shoulders back. So we're sitting tall, seated tall. And then we're gonna place our back and rest on the back of the chair. Gonna relax here. Gonna prepare for our meditation. Gonna relax our head, our eyes, our face, our jaw, our neck. Shoulders, chest, arms, hands, bellies, backs, our bottoms, thighs, knees, feet. We want to relax our bodies from the crowns of our heads all the way down through to the soles of our feet. Just relax our bodies. Now we're ready for our meditation. Let's choose to think on some good things. Let's choose to think on those things that bring us a little joy, bring us a little peace. Let's take a moment to think on those kinds of things. Let's let our minds go to those happy, peaceful thoughts. Let's meditate.
Okay, let's bring ourselves back to the moment. We're gonna wiggle our feet, scratching our toes, like we're putting digging into the sand with our feet. Then gonna lift onto our toes. So pointing our feet, lifting on onto our toes, and then lower our feet or flatten. Now let's lift onto our heels, flexing our feet. Stretch. One more time, lifting onto your toes, pointing our feet, and relax. One more time, flexing our feet. Stretch and relax. We take our left hand and place it on our right shoulder, and then right hand on our left shoulder. We want to walk our hands around towards our, a little bit towards our back, and then pull our shoulders in. Nice big hug. Stretch. Then relax that. Hug from me to you. And then going to take it with our hands. We stretch with the hands. And then following the hands up into a tight fist and pressing all the hands, like pressing your fist in, spread like you're angry, both, and then relaxing the fist, rotating the wrist. Gonna reverse that rotation. Gonna open both hands. Place the palms together facing each other and intertwine the fingers. Turn the palms outward and then press those palms outward, extending the arms, doing the stretch through the fingers in the palm. Gonna take our thumbs and pull them back towards the body stretch. Now we're gonna relax that stretch. Palms are facing downward. You wanna Press the fingers together and then slide them slowly out. Do they're separate and then shake the hands out. Right. Replace the hands on the knees and then raise our hands up to heart center. Namaste. All right, awesome job, awesome job, good job. Um, all right, another refreshing session of yoga. Hope you enjoyed it. Come on back for next week for another session of Body Works and then stretch yoga afterwards. Have a wonderful week and weekend, talk to for now and see you next week.